Hey there, StarCraft 2 community. This is Zarin, and today I'll be casting a 1 versus 1 Protoss versus Zerg matchup. And who we're watching today is actually one of my friends from StarCraft, Clam Chop versus the very famous EG in control, which as some of you probably know is from the clan EG, a very dominant clan in the StarCraft 2 scene. Off the top of my mind, I can note that Hydra and Machine and Axlav are also in that clan, and they're just a very dominant clan. And one reason why I wanted to cast this game today is mostly because this is actually a ladder quick match game, so this was a game played on the Battle.net ladder system. This isn't a tournament, it's not a custom game, just straight ladder gameplay. and. I just I thought it would be very interesting to see what pros do and how they play in a ladder matchup. So this will be a very interesting game to watch. As we can see, Clam Chop, he's opening up with a very standard Zerg build, it looks like. He's getting his extractor at 14 and then his spawning pool at 14 supply. And basically what this allows allows the Zerg to do is expand safely with those fast speedlings so we can also expect hopefully an expansion coming soon by clam chop as we go to the protoss base it looks like in control is getting up his gateway as well as building another pylon and his assimilator is almost done it's done right now and quickly transfers three of his probes onto that assimilator as we go back to Clam Chop, he's still continuing to produce those drones and waiting for his spawning pool to, to uh, complete, and there it is. And he has pulled off his drones at 100 gas, which he's now using to get that metabolic boost, which will give those Zerglings that speed. As we can see, EG in control, pulling his scout away, bringing it to the expansion just to check out the timing on that on the uh expansion and when the hatchery goes down and whatnot. As we go back to EG in control, he's getting up his cybernetics core, placing down a second assimilator. Very, very standard build so far from both of these players. And I'm hoping to see a very macro based game, especially by the Zerg player. I'm hoping he gets a lot of hatcheries around the map and whatnot. Because I'm a Zerg player as well and I love playing in those games. They're so fun. And it looks like Clam Chop is getting down his hatchery. It looks like he got it down at around 21 supply, which is the exact time that you want to get it down with this build order. He seems to be producing another queen from that hatchery, as well as more drones and an overlord. So that's very good. He seems to be macroing very, very hard with his drone count. As we go back to Red's base, we actually see four Zerglings over here just running up the ramp, seeing what they can find. And let's go to Clan Chop's player view. And he, he was only able to see the gateway and the cybernetics core, so he wasn't able to see too much. And it's actually very great building placement by EG in control. He's not allowing Clam Chop to see anything that he's doing. Very great pylon placement as well and probe count and everything else is going extremely well for in control as we should expect seeing as he's a pro player and as we go back to clam chops view he's transferring his drones very very nice spreading that creep and also getting that uh... spread larva spell on there we can see up here he's getting his lair tech up as well as a roach warren so hopefully we'll see a lot of roaches in this game they're very very good against Protoss as they have that high health and they're not too bad against those Colossi but you do want to get out Corruptors as well if he gets Colossi go back to in control he seems to be getting a lot of sentries ooh and a Zergling was actually able to run up there let's see what he was able to scout off he was able to scout off that gateway that gateway so what Clam Chop is probably thinking is that he's going a three gate robo which might be oh he's actually going a three gate expansion so very standard build as well for most Protoss players getting his nexus up right now with a ton of sentries probably to maybe block a huge force that might come but 
That's very unlikely from Zerk Lair. As we can see, Clam Chop is still macroing up hard. He's getting his two extractors up there. Sending some more drones down there. He let's see what he's doing. He's getting his roach speed up, so very, very good. I we're definitely gonna see a lot of roaches in play soon. You can see in control, sending out his army to the middle of the map. That <laughs> that poor Zergling does die. Oh, that poor little Zergling. There's his Zergling blood. And he's actually running these Zerglings. See if he can get some scouting information up here. He notices his expansion. Oh, and great, great timing on that Zealot Warpin. Able to block off those Zerglings so they can't get a scout up in his base. We do see level 1 attack for EG in control and we also see him transferring him some transferring some probes as his nexus is about to be completed. Let's go back to Clam Chop. We can see that some of his roaches are working on the destructible rocks. Very, very nice and my eye actually caught a glimpse of this little guy coming down here building a hatchery. So getting up that next expansion just because he saw in control already getting his up and as Zerg you always want to be one ahead and it looks like we're gonna have an engagement soon by the Protoss right here blocking off the ramp so no reinforcements can come up there pulls off his roaches from the rocks ooh nice nice force fields by EG in control but he doesn't really have any attacking units he just has a few sentries which won't do much damage at all to the roaches but it was good that he got in there to get a poke around see what Clam Chop's army composition is one thing that Clam Chop isn't doing well though this game is his creep spread. I always like to see those Zerg players get out that extra queen solely for the purpose of spreading creep as creep is very very important in gameplay for Zerg and it looks like he finished with those destructible rocks so hopefully we'll see an expansion coming down here soon. We can see that his expansion will shortly be done and probably be transferring some drones down there as well and he's actually running a few Zerglings up there um, probably just to check out the composition of the Protoss army which is also a very good idea hopefully you can maybe scout out some Colossus soon if he's getting them is he building any structure like that? Um, nah I don't see one yet but he is building that observer so he'll be able to get out some scouting information he's also destroying these destructible rocks so expect an expansion soon to come down here at the top left corner of the map. I almost called it an island because of Lost Temple, but this is not Lost Temple. And he's actually building his next expansion right here. And also transferring some drones, so very, very nice. He's also macroing very hard on his drone count, I believe. 61 drones versus 51 probes, so doing a very good job. Ooh, and he's actually got his spire up so does he have any colossus coming out I uh, yep he does have robotic space so very very good um assumptions right there by clam chop anticipating the protoss getting those colossus colossi <laughs> I almost called them coloxin um I forget what commentator did that but someone did call them coloxin and I just lol to myself a little bit but anyways, the first Corruptor is out, as well as three others. This bottom right expansion is nearing completion, so that's always good. Hopefully he'll get up some drones there to get those resources. And the Protoss seems to be pushing out to the middle. Let's see if he is going to engage the Zerg army. And I don't see... Oh, that poor Zerg died. So, two... Two lone Zerglings have died so far, and he's actually running his Corruptors up there just to get some scouting information, I assume. They're just standing there right now. Let's see what they're going to be able to scout off. So they're not going to be able to get very much scouting information 